Good day to all of you. Myself, Dr. Arvind Sharma, Associate Professor in Physics, Government Dogar College, Bikaner. Today, we are going to discuss about the topic Free Space Path Laws, FSPL. Free Space Path Laws, when microwaves transmit through free space, then how losses are there okay in telecommunication free space free space path laws fspl is the loss in signal strength in which a loss signal strength of electromagnetic wave that would result from a line of sight path through free space with no obstacles Nearby cause reflection or diffraction. The FSPL appears in vacuum under ideal conditions. That is, radio communication between satellites. It is a criteria for the derivation of the radar equation. Okay. This figure shows non-directional power density diminishes as geometry spreading. If geometry spreading here is a area as a1 and after that area as a2 as a1 and as a2 so geometry spreading then there is power density diminishes now calculation of free path loss if high energy if high frequency energy is emitted by an isotopic radiator, isotopic radiator is that radiator which radiates energy uniformly in all directions. Then the energy propagates uniformly in all directions due to this isotopic radiator. Areas with the same power density therefore form spheres. If there is a source, then it radiates in a sphere in three dimension around the radiator. The same amount of energy spreads out on an incremented spherical surface. At an incremental incremented spherical radius okay incremented spherical surface incremented spherical radius that means the power density on the surface of a sphere is inversely proportional to the surface area a or the square of the radius r of the sphere the expression for fspl actually encapsulates two effects. The expression for FSPL actually encapsulates two effects. Free space power loss is proportional to the square of the distance between the transmitter and the receiver and also proportional to the square of the frequency of the radio signal. Free space path loss is have two effects one is distance between the transmitter and receiver and it is proportional to the square of the distance okay and second one is that square proportional to square of the frequency of the radio signal. Firstly the spreading of spreading out spreading out that means how it propagates after emission energy propagates energy that means spreading out of electromagnetic energy in free space is determined by the inverse square law. What is S? S is the power 
per unit area at a distance. What is S? S is power per unit area at a distance. Okay. Pt is transmitted power in watt from a source and R is distance between transmitter and receiver in meter. That is 4 pi R square is its area. So, we know that electromagnetic energy in free space is determined by S equal to 4 Pt upon 4 pi R square. The second effect is that receiving antenna as a person. Second effect is receiving antenna as a person which describe how well an antenna can pick up power from an incoming electromagnetic wave. For an isotropic antenna, this is given by for an isotropic antenna, this is given by P R equal to S lambda square upon 4 pi. Okay. Here P R is received power. S is non-directional density, non-directional power density S. And lambda is transmitted wavelength. So P R equal to S lambda square upon 4. The total loss is given by the ratio FSPL equal to PT upon PR equal to what is PT? 4 pi R square S 4 pi R square S and what is PR? S lambda square upon 4 pi ok so it becomes 4 pi R upon lambda Square. And in terms of frequency, it can be written as 4 pi RF upon C for the square, where FR is transmitted frequency and C is speed of light, which can be found by combining the previous two expressions. Which can be found by combining the previous two expressions. Common mistake. In radar equipment, free space attenuation. Free space attenuation occurs both on the forward and return path. Since both distances are equal in a monostatic radar, monostatic radar, the free space path loss on the outward path is equal to the free space path loss in the return path. It therefore be calculated for single distance only and then doubled. What should never be done is to simply insert the double distance into the equation now because 2 4 pi rf upon c whole square not equal to 4 pi into 2 rf upon c whole square. If the double distance is entered into the equation then the 2 will be also squared. 2 will be also squared and you calculate the fourfold space free space path loss. Fourfold. Okay. Now derivation of the dB decibel version of the path loss equation for free space. That means how we convert the expression in dB decibel version. For free propagation wave in radio channel, the path loss model is L0 equal to 4 pi d upon lambda whole square, where lambda equal to c upon fc. Okay. Notation is just similar, here is r and here is taken d. Some notation difference is here, but uh, not uh, much more different. Okay. So L0 equal to 4 pi dFc upon C power For D in meters, D in meters, Fc in gigahertz and C equal to 3 into 10 to 8 meter per second. So L0 becomes 4 pi dFc into 
1 into 10 is to 9 upon 10, 3 into 10 is to 10. All this is gone. Now, breaking, uh, now taking log 10 log. Okay. If you are one, if you want to convert it in decibel, so just take log 10 of 10, log 10 of log of both sides of equation 3 to obtain the dB version. Now L0 becomes Ten log four pi dfc into this whole square and this is converted into we see that this becomes L zero equal to ten log four pi dfc into one into ten is to nine upon three into ten is to eight all this one. Now you know that when you take the log then this 2 comes here. This becomes 20 log 4 pi four pi 10 upon 3. Here you see that 3 into 10 is to 8. This is 10. 10 is to 9 upon 10 is to 8. This becomes 10. So this is taken with it. This taken 10 is to 9 upon 10 is to 8. 10. And this is taken here 4 pi to 10 into 3. Plus again 20 log fc plus 20 log d. So there are three parts. Okay, all thing is here clear and just putting the values of this constant, this becomes 32.4 plus 20 log fc plus 20 log d. So this is the form of how you can convert in into db decibel form. Okay, in next lecture, we again clear it with taking a similar article from different approach so you can understand more comfortably the concept of free space path loss. So, Read it carefully and try to understand that this is a very simple concept that is related with microwave communications. Okay, thank you to all of you.